Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Thoughts. Uh, today we're going to be continuing a series on how to build a question and answer website uh, using the Drupal CMS. Uh, in our last tutorial, uh, we looked at how we, uh, we can um, tag some of our answers uh, using the community tags module. Uh, in today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at how we can um, vote on our website and how uh, we can reward uh, our users with points uh, for different activities to perform on the website. So for example, if we go back to the Stack Exchange website, uh, you find out that we have zero votes, zero votes for this question, one answer, and 43 views. Uh, so if I click on this question, for example, I can decide to vote by clicking on this to um, increase the vote. And at the end, you find that every user has got a user point. This particular user has got um, one point, one reputation score, and one bronze badge. Uh, this particular user has got 20. So I also want to see how we can create something similar uh, using uh, the Drupal CMS. Uh, in order to achieve this, we're going to be using a different module uh, called the Answers uh, User Points. Um, this works similar to that uh, for every vote. Uh, uh, a user gets five points, and for every downvote, uh, two points uh, are subtracted from the user. Um, this module uh, looks like a single module, but it's got a lot of dependencies, such as the rules module, the rating module, and several other ones. Uh, so for this, uh, to start, I will uh, download this module uh, using the drush command line. Uh, so to start, uh, I simply type drush, uh, download AB, and I'll be working with the... Uh, the development version a b dev and that should download the module uh, for us right so once the module has been downloaded uh, the next thing you want to do is enable our module trash enable a u p yes right by the time our module has completed installing uh, you find out that all these dependencies has, have also been installed uh, the best answers NTT, NTT token, PHP, rates submitted by token user points, user point rules, voting API, voting underscore rules, uh, rules, PHP, and user point vocabulary. In a situation where you're trying to um, install using the Drush command line, uh, you would have observed a lot of funnies uh, going on here. The reason uh, for this is um, the submitted by module could not be downloaded so i advise you to uh, manually download this the development version extract it into your site or modules folder and then you can try enabling your user points module uh, so let's go into our website uh, to see what has been done for us uh, so if we refresh our website now uh, we'll find out that uh, two new tabs have been added uh, the resolved questions and the unresolved uh, questions tab. You click on the resolved questions, uh, resolved questions have a best answer already selected. Uh, but this one, I'm not sure if a uh, best answer has been selected yet. Uh, unresolved questions are questions for which uh, the best answers have not been selected, as you can see. All right, so let's go back to all questions. Now this is a very uh, long tutorial. Um, we'll be looking at some of um, the basic configuration for our new module. Uh, if we go to configuration, and if we click on points, uh, we'll find out uh, we can look at some of the settings created by uh, the points uh, module. Uh, so my duration approved by default, yes, if you want it moderated, uh, you select the radio button here. Branding, you might decide you don't want to call yours points. Uh, I think the stack exchange called it as reputation. Uh, you could decide yours would be reputation also, or whatever you want to call it. Points, 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 uh, and change them. Uh, this the singular word and the plural words. Expiration, uh, if you want uh, points to expire by day, by year, or uh, never, uh, leave that. Message, display message, no, yes, uh, listings, uh, transactions per page, uh, things like that. So this is where you configure uh, the points uh, fun functionality of the module. So here, I believe 
uh, we'll see all the total points as we begin to use our points our transaction is uh, where transactions take place uh, so as we continue using the module we'll, we'll begin to see some of the things here uh, so let's return back to the home page right here on the home page we'll find out that every um, user can view the total number of points uh, they've got uh, they listed here number of, number of points and approved points uh, pending points and things like that uh, that's in connection with your profile uh, just like uh, in stock exchange uh, so now let's click on our question now you will observe that every of our question has now got a best answer option that can be selected once a question has been answered so say for example we've got four or five uh, users who have uh, answered the question uh, you'll find that uh, if you agree you as the person who asked the question uh, decide which answer is the best one you just simply click on this and say select this answer as the best answer uh, you find something similar uh, in Drupal so let's go to uh, questions for example uh, let's click on maybe this one if we're lucky uh, just like this so this is the, the accepted question uh, answer uh, for this question so let's return back to our website uh, so this is what we can use for us it's called this is the answer and then you can select this as your best answer now the next thing we want to be able to do is uh, to be able to vote up and down of our answers and our questions uh, so how can we do this uh, when we installed uh, our module uh, it also enabled some new modules uh, let's refresh our website so to um, add that let's go to rates widget settings uh, click on list and select the widget type uh, you would like to use here we have the answers rating uh, widget which has been created for us by default if we click on edit uh, you see it allows us to vote on both the answer and the question content type we click on display settings uh, I decide to use mine above the content uh, I do not want this to be displayed automatically on content display interaction uh, should the second click on the same button delete the vote yes or no that's up to you uh, to decide and permissions show disabled yes I like all this configuration and uh, we click on save if we return back to our home page and we click on question one uh, we should find uh, our uh, voting uh, icons have appeared so this will add one and this should subtract one uh, we created a new user which we were using uh, let's go to our uh, um, Firefox browser and let's see our other user called user one right so user one can click on question one for example and decide uh, to vote so if I click on plus one it says you are voted plus one and this increases uh, the vote by one uh, if I click on my points for example uh, you find out that uh, the user admin has just earned five points and now has five points in the general category that's because I voted uh, plus one on this question so that user gets five points allocated uh, to them in my own case uh, I've not got no approved points and I've not got no pending points uh, if we go back to uh, admin and click on admins points now we find out that the admin user uh, now has five points uh, approved uh, to him um, so for every action you perform uh it's all always listed here like your activities so you see you extracted a vote down i've um, voted up so if i go back to home page for example uh, click on simple php and who answered this one was probably answered by user one uh, so let's add a vote of plus one and it says you've voted up one and if we go to my points now it should tell us a uh, user uh, you voted uh, okay 
this is not showing up here that's why I knew okay user one has just earned 10 points and now has 10 points in the general category so if I go to Firefox now and click on home and I go to my points I should find now that user one has got 10 points uh, assigned to him uh, a user voted your answer up so if we click on the reason uh, we see what uh, question uh, answer was voted up uh, so this is how you can use uh, the ratings uh, uh, module which was also installed in connection uh, with this so say for example now we uh, click on um, simple PHP and we select this as the best answer you find out now that user one has just earned 15 points and now has 25 points in the general category that's because uh, he answered a very good question and got 15 points for that question and I earned two points uh, for uh, accepting uh, the answer so now if user one comes back here and clicks on my points uh, user one now should have 25 points uh, that has been assigned to him uh, for a, a job well done and so this is how it works when you select best answers and so now if you look at voting results I see plus one minus one uh, zero zero so if we go to home page and click on resolved questions we'll find out because we've selected uh, a best answer uh, this question has now been uh, assigned as resolved uh, so we can see a list of all questions uh, we find our resolved question here which we selected the best answer for and anyone that we've not uh, selected the best answer for uh, appears under unresolved uh, questions and anyone that has not been answered uh, is classified as unanswered questions uh, so yeah this is how it works so uh, your next question is going to be how then do I uh, change um, the user points say for example you don't want um, every vote to be five points or ten points or fifteen points uh, well you have to um, change this in the rules uh, uh, UI well you have to change this in the rules um, UI so if we go to struct uh, configuration and let's click on rules 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 uh, before we can use rules I want to make sure uh, that the UI interface has been installed let's go back to emojis quickly and let's look for rules and let's enable our rules UI as rules was um, installed for us by the um, Josh command line uh, so let's see our UI and then we can see how we can change points right let's go to our configuration page and look for the rules UI click on rules and we should see a list of different rules uh, that have been created when we installed uh, the um, answer user points module so user retracts a vote down on a question uh, you can decide what uh, should happen user retracts a vote upon question you can decide uh, user selects the best answer uh, say for example we click on that edit uh, when user selects the best answer what should happen uh, we have um, um, events that's the event uh, the condition is uh, if the user is an author or an anonymous user then do not allow them uh, to use this condition and these are the actions that should be performed so grant points to a user if we click on that uh, you see the value is 15 so you can decide to change yours to say something like 10 or 5 uh, depending on what you want to use and so uh, once you've done all that and uh, you can click, click and save uh, you can modify them to maybe decide if you want an expiration date maybe when it's deleted or something uh, that's up to you uh, but this is uh, where uh, you can make changes uh, to the points that are automatically created uh, when the answer user points uh, module is installed uh, so in uh,
quick summary of what we've done today. Uh, today, uh, we've um, um, allowed our question uh, and answers uh, to be able to um, allow a vote up and down. Uh, we've also allowed our users to be able to uh, determine what the best answer is. Uh, we also see that we can see a list of our points uh, that we've uh, accumulated while using this website. And these are a list of activities that we've performed uh, while voting. And for the other user, you can also see a list of actions, uh, approved points to him. Uh, for uh, other situations, uh, maybe for example, if your My Points is not showing for other users, uh, you might want to go to People Permissions and change uh, the permission settings. I think uh, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. Um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.